Okay, so now that we've taken the time to put this thing back together, we're going to look at how to use this. Well, first of all, let's look at the back. You've got your power cable right in the back here, but you also have a switch right here that's off and on. I'm going to be sure it's off before I plug it in, rather. And I'm not going to plug it in yet, just yet. Okay, so I've just filled this thing up with water. And as you notice, right here on the front, it has the different fill lines. Now, here's your minimal. If it's below that, it will not uh, work. If it's above this, you're going to have problems. So be sure you keep it between the minimum and the maximum. I've got about 40 ounces in right now. And then I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to add some of this formula. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the Baby Breeze. And as you notice, it's clumping. Now, that's only because this formula hasn't been used at all in like 10 months. So this formula is old. And FYI, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to feed this to anybody. I'm going to use this rake to kind of even some of this out. Well, this isn't going to be perfect this time. All right. Now you'll notice... There's also on this a max, a max line and a minimal line. It's currently off. I'm turning it on right now. All right, and you hear that initial beep. Well, right now, this temperature light is blinking. That's just telling me that the water is not warm enough yet. So we have to wait until that is warmed up before this will even work. So even if I were to hit the start button right now, it would not work. So let's give that a few minutes. You see there's the blue. A light right there that indicates that there are two ounces there's four six eight and ten so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the ounce button and go to eight and it always defaults to two I've never figured out how to get it to stay on one whenever or on a certain number whenever you turn it on so it always starts at two I'm gonna move it over to eight I'm gonna barely pull this out now you see the funnel light right there so that funnel light comes on whenever this is barely out or whenever it's not all the way in, rather. Uh, even when it's pressed in and you think it's in, that light's still on, go ahead and grab it and just push it in all the way. That light will go off. Uh, so while we're still waiting on this, I just wanted to also mention that you're not gonna have to wait every time for this to warm up unless you refill this fresh. It's There's a heater in here that warms the water up to a certain temperature. Um, that temperature is, should be just right for your baby but you need to definitely be sure to check on your wrist or however you check that to uh, make sure it's not too hot. In fact, this doesn't get as hot as the, um, uh, the Munchkin bottle warmer that I reviewed prior. You can check that review out. Uh, one more thing, we used purified water that we bought in the baby section for this. We'd never used tap in this. Um, it's probably better that you use some kind of purified water I would buy a uh, baby water that you can buy in the baby section. You can use tap, but I'm thinking you probably have to clean it more if you do that. Anyway, this light is green. Let me lean it forward for you now. It's no longer blinking yellow or orange. And I've got an eight ounce bottle set. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is that I meant to do this before I added formula. And what you should do is run a thing of water through it, a 10 ounce thing of water through this uh, a bottle maker before you add formula that way it gets any kind of gunk or whatever that's already inside this unit out I've got an eight ounce bottle set I'm gonna set this underneath but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this bottle needs to be a little higher Now you want it to be able to slide right under the nozzles so I'm gonna go ahead and try to move this first let's just pretend like I've already figured out exactly where I want this all right, so this slides under there perfectly. There's only about a millimeter worth of space. You can see the ounces, one through nine here. So this will make a 10 ounce bottle, but I'm gonna make an eight ounce bottle. I'm just gonna hit the start button. It's going to dispense formula and water at the same time. Okay, so some of you noticed that this is a little higher than 8 ounces. Well, that has a lot to do with the clumpiness of this just because of the formula I have. 
But also, you gotta keep in mind displacement. This actually puts out exactly eight ounces of water. So if you were to do this without formula in it, it would come exactly to where the eight ounces, the eight ounce mark is. But because we have formula, there's a thing called displacement and that makes it rise. So I'm just gonna add the lid to this. Maybe you put a finger over the nipple there. All right, and then after doing that, I'm going to, much like the bottle Munchkin bottle warmer, I'm going to test this. If you don't feel anything on your wrist, then you know it's good. This bottle did not come out super warm, but again, it just warmed up. It did come up warmer than room temperature, which is good. I think, for the most part, it still did the job like it's supposed to. Um, the consistency and thickness of the formula looks correct. Um, there is a way to test this. You can make another bottle by hand, and I've done the same thing. I've made a bottle by hand, and I've tested the consistency between this bottle and the bottle I made by hand, and it was really close, if not almost exactly the same. So that's the good thing about this Baby Breeza, or this Formula One Baby Breeza thing, is that it makes a pretty good bottle. And in the middle of the night, whenever you're just waking up and it's time to feed baby, this thing is freaking great. So that is pretty cool for that reason. If you decide that you wanna make a bottle by hand and not use this part up here, you can certainly do that. You do not have to add any formula to this to do that. You can just fill the tank up, let it stay heated up, and then have the bottle under there, press start, and just get warm water, and then add the formula yourself. You can certainly do that. That does not cause any damage to this. That, again, is a really expensive bottle warmer, but if that's what you decide to do, and we decided to do that after a while because I got tired of cleaning this so much, Okay, so as I said before, the thing I don't like about this is cleaning. This thing is a mess. This thing will clump up right under here, right here, and you have to wipe this out daily. I mean, at the very least, a cut, you know, once every two days. It will have gunk right under here, right in this little hole area where this formula comes out. And depending on what type of formula you use, it will gunk up more. It's kind of a pain. That's not that big of a deal. The bigger deal is, is washing this once a week, and that is a serious kind of pain in my booty. And by the way, when you're cleaning this thing, be sure you don't get water up in this. So again, another thing I don't, another reason I don't like cleaning this. So here's the other thing. So if you look right here, this is the hole where the water goes into the tank. I guess this is the pump. So it pumps it up to the top, and it pumps water into here. And really, the water and the formula mix inside this funnel. And then it comes into the bottle. And I always shake up the bottle no matter what. But here's the thing I don't like about this. How in the world do you get inside here to clean this? All right, what if mold or something grows? There's, there's no way to get inside there to clean it. And I don't really know how to go about cleaning that. Maybe. One of you guys have a suggestion out there. Maybe somebody already has this and you can tell me, you know, how I would clean this. That is the Baby Breeza Formula One bottle maker. I hope this was helpful. Again, please subscribe, comment if you have any questions and hit that like button. Thanks for your time. Have a great one.